passed in Congress that'll protect me and you. Black, white, Latino, Asian, or LGBTQ. If she could get this country back to where we can stand tall. Keeping her safe from harm without building a wall. Cause she's a... See, this video right here is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. We are in the middle of a spiritual battle, and obviously the spirit that is behind these individuals is emboldened by Kamala Harris, the Democratic Party, uh, to push their agenda. This is why the Bible says to be carnally minded is death. You cannot be carnally minded in a spiritual battle. So when people say, hey, I'm going to vote for this person, you got to be able to explain and articulate why you're doing that because it is a big deal, right? The Bible says to judge with righteous judgment and an unjust scale is abomination to the Lord. So if you say something out of your mouth uh, publicly, you have to be able to articulate why because the stakes are very high. Pray about everything. Listen, I don't want to say much about this. I posted this clip on my Instagram. And when I look at this kind of stuff, it really just makes me scratch my head. And I'm like, this this can't be real. Like, this really, like, I, I just, I know the Bible talks about a strong delusion and everything. But it just, it just blows my mind how people can not see what's going on. I think a lot of people choose not to see. Um, and, and and I've said this before, you know, I I don't believe any political uh, political party, you know, is perfect or without flaws. But when I weigh it and I look, you know, side by side, I do I do believe, you know, at some point, hopefully not. You know, what I'm saying we're just going to be just doomed. You know, if if the church doesn't really stand up and. You know, we keep believing like, oh, we don't need to be involved in politics. Like there's people that are using politics. You guys have heard me say this for like 12 years. They, they're they using politics to turn America into a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. And it's like, oh, well, you know, we, we just sit back. We just watch it happen. I don't believe that that's what God wants. Now, it's not that we're going to idolize anybody or we're going to put our hope in anybody. But if there's somebody you know, out there that's not pushing these kind of things, especially through legislation. It's not to say that we justify all of their behavior or anything like that. As a Christian, I just, I have to lean that way. I'm not going to vote for the people that are turning America into a Sodom and Gomorrah, because the thing is, when you speak out against something like this, they're going to say that you're uh what is it? Misogynist, that you're a hater, that you did. They've got all these words for you to, you know, who are you to judge? You know, well, well, what about this? Or, well, what about that? Let me tell you something, guys. I want to hear what you guys think about this in the comments. It's not it's not about I wish people would just understand, like it's a spiritual battle like this stuff affects the country that our kids are going to have to. Maybe some of you don't have kids. You don't care. Maybe some of you let your kids listen to this kind of stuff that like that is just not. And, you know, from the clip that I posted on my Instagram, it apparently wasn't even the worst clip like there was some much more foul stuff and it's just sad so i'm not gonna say much and then the other clip that just speaks for itself um i want to know what you guys think about it in the comments you know i'm praying 
you know, God is in control at the end of the day, but I do believe that God doesn't want us to just, you know, go off into the darkness and silence. Like, yeah, this might be a Babylon, but God always has voices that are going to speak up and warn and say, hey, we don't have to go with that flow. We don't have to bow to that. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. Give me some feedback in the comments.